Yosemite Park. Here we have, we are having very big mountains and, and very big waterfalls that are not on because too many people flushing their toilets at the same freaking time. See that tunnel back there? I just noticed that shot. You see that tunnel? So it, it, it's rather sexual to me. Being a sexual kind of person, it, it means something sexual to me. to focus it. <laughs> Welcome to Jim Sogas and Steve Eaton's trip to Yosemite National Park. Trip. It's Friday, 729-88. And we just got into the park. That's our first kind of view over there. And uh, we'll keep you posted. This is our treasure hunt. We're gonna be, actually it's a treasure burial, not a treasure hunt. We're gonna be burying something in the park. But we don't know, that's to come further later. Okay. Jim, how do you like it so far? It's good stuff. What? Love it. This is great. The Yosemite National Park. Now we're here. I'm gonna try to put this bicycle back together. What do you think of, Yosem what do you think of Yosemite National Forest, Jim? Well, this being very, very good place to be, yes. We're having very, much, very big fun. Tomorrow we're going to see the, uh, the big mountains and, uh, and uh, what, what they call it, uh, 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 Half Dome? Half Dome. Half Dome? Half Dome, that's what you were born, didn't you know? You were dumb. born, you were born Half Dome. No, 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 not Half Dome. <laughs> All the way dumb. All the All way, way dumb. Dumb. I think we're going to start a little fire and uh, start uh, having dinner. Jim is the incredible bird calling man. Jim, how do you do these bird calls? Okay. It's magic. I'd like to hear i I'd like to hear a first station of a uh, cardinal. Okay. And now how about a Bob White? Oh. <laughs> hey, that's incredible. Now. Now, what about, uh, how about a blue jay? No, 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 blue, uh, how about a robin? A robin? I'm almost out of breath. I'm oh, sorry. Want okay. to rest a minute? No, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll okay, give it a, a try. A robin in the... Uh, I'll give it my very best. Okay, a robin in, like, a midday in spring. Is this uh, an African robin or a uh, European robin? I don't know that. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, ready? Here okay. we go, folks. This is an African robin. Ah, strangers. They're all critics. Aha, uh, uh -huh. we discover Jim's secret. It's just a cheap imitation. <laughs> They're all very friendly. Very good friendly. Always oh, definitely, right. Just lay in your tent tonight and stick your feet out. He'll put some honey on your feet and you'll die laughing when they start licking them off. <laughs> right. See you later. You bet. Thanks. Perfect examples of prime U.S. choice. Great A beef. We're out camping at Yosemite Park. Having sirloin steak. 
Can't beat that. That's right. When I cook steaks, I put a little piece in the corner and I slice it off a little at a time so I know when it's done. I, um, <clears throat> so I call it my test steak. Test steak. That's not like testicle, is it? I don't know. I've never cut up a testicle. I have. I cut mine once. I was Shaving. Thinking. Really? Yeah. Then the doctor told me never to shave down there. So what are you supposed to use, narrow? Brothers of the wind. I had to do this one other thing. You start I here. Raindrops fall on us. Raindrops keep falling. It's on going my head. to rain. Damn. 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 My eyes are too big for my bird. Whatever those words are. Beautiful, beautiful Steve here. Quite the chef. What's the Scramble, time today? Scrambled eggs, sausage. Oh, probably cycling through the valley, maybe a jump in the pool, do a little uh, tuna patrol. Um, and if things go well, maybe I'll have a little tuna for dinner. <laughs> you are One, two, three, three.
with Jimmy. Here we are. We had a here good we bike ride. We had a great ride. Rode about for three hours, four hours, something like that. And uh, we got back here, took a shower, feeling clean, eating the rabbit food. I'm going to go shopping. See, this is marvelous. This is what you have to eat when you're in Yosemite. There's a sign posted when you get in, no junk food. So we're having a great time. We're having a blast. And um, too bad you couldn't be here with us. Beauty, eh? Beauty. Beauty. Beauty, eh? You bet. You bet. You run that, that uh, cartridge out, Steve? Is that the you deal? Take off, you so, mob. So I gotta keep talking here, huh? What more you got? Hey, Jim. You see a tree we can cut down for some firewood? Well,. I was thinking we're gonna be here. We want a nice fire. This one would do a real good job. All right. We uh, we might end up leaving a little bit of it, but you know, next guys could use it probably. These are big trees, huh? Yeah, this might take a couple of hours to cut down. What do you think? All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll come back. You'll go somewhere else and come back. See how long it's taking you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, leave me a beer or something. Okay, that's good. Can't do it. This thing's been here for thousands of years. I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's... Oh, maybe I can. I don't know. I might. Yeah. No, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Two thousand years old. I want my kids to see this. I want their kids to see this. So we're at the. Uh, let's go over this way. So we're at the uh, Giant Sequoia National Park. These trees are really big. They have really big birds too. I hear one now. I think we've lost our we've lost the gem of both going nuts. How to see big trees. Start low and look up. Steve, can you see figure out what they're talking about here? I, I don't really follow this. Start low and look up. And we can see two other sequoias that are growing very close together. And within the next three to four hundred years, those trees should join and form another faithful couple. Whoa, 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 no. The giant sequoia attains its full height in the first 800 to 1. The tree remains healthy and it produces viable cones every year. And 1,000 gallons of water per day per tree. Therefore, these sequoias tend to grow in flat areas where there's an abundant supply of underground water. Or along slopes and gullies where there's a large amount of underground water flowing by. That branch gives us an appreciation for how large the branches can be up high in these sequoias. And that one's nowhere near the six feet in diameter of the one of the grizzly giant either. left us with the grove as it is today. This is an ideal place for young sequoias, and coming up just a few feet to the right of the tram, we'll be able to see two young sequoias that are about 60 or 70 years old. If you're looking to cover him with a newspaper and furnace, you have an idea. As I said, we will be stopping here, and if anybody would like to spend more time in the grove, feel free to get off either here, or what I would recommend is getting off at our... Great perspective. Here in March of 1969, these things are really big. I still wonder if they make a sound when they fall. Over the old road. No one's here. Yeah, what if no one's here? They probably didn't make any sound at all. You'll notice that even though there was a lot, you can always get the side of feet over here. You could do it, yeah. On top of. 
come away then. You know, you're probably going to have about 300 feet of film of trees. It's going to be kind of like the Grand Canyon. You take a million pictures, take them all home, and they all look the same. Um, something Woody. <laughs> something by Woody Allen? Um, how about uh, 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 Black Oak, Arkansas? <laughs> I don't know. the oldest tree in the world. This is the tree. This is the major animal tree. Walk in front of me to get a perspective. What do you think of that sucker? I found my home at last. Yeah, yeah, baby. This tree gives me a woody. Have a real nice evening, folks. Well, what I think about the Redwood Forest? Yeah, tell me, what do you think about the Redwood Forest? I only have one word. And what's that word? <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> a campsite we got off by ourselves and it was great we had a marvelous time cooked a spectacular meal now i'm having my spectacular coffee and we're going to go uh, back to uh, san, san jose today if we know the way <laughs> <laughs> thank you and uh but first we're going to bury our treasure on the way and you're going to be a part of it i'll put you through yeah. and so ready for the treasure hunt and a yeah. one and a two and a three here we go were becoming too civilized uh, and it was kind of hard to believe until we met this guy <laughs> and we asked him since he seemed to be the most civilized person we'd met where should we bury a treasure where exactly should we bury a treasure in Yellowstone Park what did he say he said Speaking a different language, I can't really follow him. It must be a radio check. I, know, I can barely understand what he says. I just want to see if this would work. Do like a steady cam of yourself while you're walking. What do you think? 
So, see in this way, you, whatever you do, you can't run away from yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, we found the ideal location for uh, the barrel of our treasure. We need to we need to find a landmark though, something that'll be here future generations. Right. We'll uh we'll log it with the uh, camera. Yeah. We can find it later. Okay. Not a bad place. Alright. We're on top, somebody's a pretty good view. Camping up here. Yeah. Looks like this is the place. Okay, so looking right out at the river, at the lake, the county. You come straight down the end of the road to the top of this hill. There's the spot. It's stone. We want the bear in the shallow grave. Right, huh? Underneath that big rock. Beneath this lies the treasure of the ages. Buried here this day, July 30th, 1988. Did I get that right? 731. Ah, July 31st. <laughs> now it's close enough. Okay, beauty. Back down the hill. Right here? That gave you the idea of how high we had to climb there. Sorry. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's see, treacherous switchbacks, ghost bridge. This is a treasure. What was that? Yeah, that was uh, that's a field mouse. I heard that. Ever heard the mouse that roared? We got a little wind in the microphone. Getting the windscreen, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh shit, it's just be a lake, eh? Yeah, I guess so. What lake is this? It's Lake, uh, that's some kind of lake. Lake McClure. Are you sure? Uh huh. Point to my right? Yeah. Down. Go that way. Down. Point to the top of the hill. Right up there. Okay. I know we talked about uh, the garlic festival, but I guess we didn't really hammer anything out. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Hey, Jim. I just left our house at 7:20. We had a great weekend. I'm here. I'm outside the uh, rolling hills of Gilroy, just past the garlic fields, and I'm on my way back to LA. I'm doing the one cam, the one camera steady cam. Uh oh. I got the CB on, so I'm not alone, and uh, uh, it was a great trip, and I hope to do it again soon. So I'll see you later. This is Steve. Adios. Bye-bye. That's cut. Cut it. Cut it. All right, that's it. Cut it. I said cut it. Cut it, damn it. Cut it. Cut it. Ah. You know, all, all great movies have to end with a, uh, with a sunset. I'm ending this one with a sunset. Oh, I guess I better move.
starting now? Yeah, I just okay. heard it start oh, up. Is it running? Yeah, Hello. too. Hi, Mom. We got a red light. We have a red light. We have a red light. Okay, so I came to visit Jim in San Francisco. He came to visit me in San Francisco, and we're having a wonderful time. Yeah. See? And uh, we decided to drive around town, and we found this great view. And, uh, and with a few hills. It's uh, February 7th. It's a beautiful day. And that's You have to be saying it. I don't remember that. You don't know the bit about, we're here to pump you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. Okay, thank you. So. Oh jeez. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> it's running. Hi. We're back okay. again. What? Please. <laughs> this is great. This is terrific use of film. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, shut it off. Brussels sprouts! <laughs> That's incredible! <laughs> <laughs> 